Your attention, please. What is shaking, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Friday Forecast Disney Style. I'm not going to say I'm going to try to keep it short because I say that every week and it never turns out that way. But the month's winding down, so hopefully this video will be a little bit shorter and hopefully going forward they're a little shorter. I don't want these to be long, 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 long videos. So I'm just going to start it off right away. Again, Matterhorn currently is closed. It's supposed to reopen on the 28th. The 28th is supposed to reopen with the new Fast Passes. Which is gonna be different. And based on Toy Story Midway Mania getting their fast passes, the standby wait, which is normally 45 minutes to an hour, is now an hour to 75 minutes. So expect about a 15 to 20 minute difference from for the Matterhorn. Um, I'm still not sure how they're gonna do it, but we'll just have to wait and see. So remember, April 28th, Matterhorn reopens with fast pass. So Throughout the resort, that's pretty much the only big refurb that's going on right now. Obviously, Disney Junior in DCA is closed, and that's not supposed to reopen until next month. Otherwise, there's really nothing else going on. Indiana Jones, just a quick reminder, will be closing May 1st and reopening May 26th. Again, going to just keep putting this out there so you guys keep hearing it and hearing it, so you guys aren't surprised if you show up to the park in May, and it's closed. So, that's just a little reminder. Otherwise, guys, uh, Cornwall Castle closes on the 17th. On the 17th, which is Monday, Monday the 17th, Cornwall Class Castle is closing. They haven't set a reopen date yet. So, again, if you want to know more about that, two weeks ago I went into detail about what they're going to do. Go check out that video. I don't want to waste time doing it here. Uh, remember Sunday. Egg Travaganza, last day is Sunday. Also, Food and Wine Festival, last day is Sunday. So if you guys want to check out either of those or participate in the Egg Travaganza egg hunt, Sunday, last day, that's it. I don't know when the next festival is coming back. They haven't released when the next Food and Wine Festival is set to return to DCA. I love them. Get out there if you can in the next two days. I know Sunday, some people might be a little bit, you know, a little bit challenged with the holiday and all, but it's definitely worth something to check out. Uh, the end of the month, the 22nd and 23rd is the Dapper Day Expo at the Disneyland Hotel, followed by the 23rd is Dapper Day. If you guys have never been to a Dapper Day, it's really cool, it's really neat. People are really dressed up and they really get into it. Uh, again, a couple weeks ago I went into this. People really go all out just dapper it is awesome you really feel like what disneyland might have looked like in 1955 if you're not like old if you're old then you kind of know what it what it looks like but if you're not dapper day is the closest thing to seeing what 1955 disneyland might have looked like okay now i'm just going to jump straight into it uh weather the weather for next week Starts at the low 70s. Monday and Tuesday, it's supposed to be like 73, 72, somewhere right in there. It's gonna gradually increase throughout the week. So Wednesday and Thursday, it's high 70s. It says, uh, right now it's a 78, which is still comfortable for me. So, you know, anywhere in the 70s, I'm happy. Once you break that 80 mark, <laughs> it's a little, a little uncomfortable for me. And then Friday, it's low 80s. Saturday, mid 80s, followed by Easter, Supposed to be high 80s, possibly touching 90. So if you guys are going to the park next weekend, definitely dress for the warm, hot weather of Southern California. I know a lot of you guys probably live down in Southern California, and I mean 80s, that's really nothing because here in the next month or so, it's gonna start hitting hundreds. So just a little heads up, early next week, low 70s, then high 70s, mid to high 70s, low 80s, Mid 80s, high 80s, gradual increase all week. So it's again, I said this a couple weeks ago, we're getting to that time of year where it's gonna start getting hotter. So that about wraps up any kind of update that's going on right now. There's no AP stuff going on. There's not a lot of other events going on. Just remember, food and wine extravaganza ends on Sunday. Corn Dog Castle closes on Monday. Matterhorn reopens on the 28th. 
Indiana Jones is set to close from the 1st and reopen on the 26th of May. Other than that, guys, not a whole lot going on. I just want to chat for the next, I'm gonna try to do this in like two minutes. I'm gonna try to keep this under about eight minute video, but again, never happened. So the first thing I wanna let you guys know is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi will now, well, eventually here soon, be a thing in the park. Disney has put up routers and modems and all that throughout the resort now. They haven't, began, they haven't begun testing them yet, but I have heard that if you look at your Wi-Fi settings while at the park, you will see the Disneyland Wi-Fi. Now you can't access it, but it's there, which I think is really cool because especially with this Max Pass, people aren't gonna wanna use data, especially in Disneyland where service can really be a stretch at points. You're just gonna use more data roaming and trying to find that service. So the Wi-Fi will be really awesome as long as it's strong enough to support 70,000 people in the park at one time. That's my biggest question is, you assume 70,000 people are at the park, figuratively speaking, 70,000 people are in the park, half of those people are connected to this Wi-Fi. That's 35,000 people, 35,000 people on one network. That's gotta be one strong network. So I'm curious to see how this, how this works, how well it works, but they're supposed to start testing it toward the end of this month. I believe in about a week or so, they will be turning it on and having, I don't know how they're gonna test it. I just said, keep reading that they're gonna test it. So they're not gonna say that, hey, Wi-Fi is working, Wi-Fi is up. If you just happen to be at the park, check your Wi-Fi settings, check it out, give it a shot. You just have to accept their terms and agreement and all that kind of stuff, but just check it out and see if it works. And if you guys are at the park and you see that it works, please let me know, I'm curious. Just, because like I said, it might be up in a week. All of a sudden, bam, we got Wi-Fi. So now, that said, the Wi-Fi doesn't necessarily mean that MaxPass is gonna start now. I mean, obviously, the FastPass, the only two additions for the FastPass are Matterhorn uh, Toy Story Midway Mania. They're gonna they're supposed to start the Max Pass over the summer and more into the fall, you know, end of summer, fall. But if the Wi-Fi checks out, they might roll that out quicker. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So the last thing I want to mention because I've seen a lot of different discussions on this. A lot of different people have talked about it. Fresh Bakes talks about it. Uh, Laramie at Fresh Baked, Walt Disney World has talked about it. I've seen it on Mice Chat, Mouse Planet. I've seen it in a whole bunch of places. Tron, the Tron ride at Shanghai, which has been a huge success. They are talking about putting that in at Walt Disney World at the Tomorrowland Speedway. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of like, woohoo, new attraction. Walt Disney World, woohoo. They have the space. They have the space for this. But a lot of people are saying that Tron roller coaster could be coming to Tomorrowland. Think about that, guys. I know a lot of you guys might not have seen the Tron roller coaster. Just go to YouTube, type in Tron roller coaster. It'll take you to a video, watch the video, and look how much space this requires, guys. And a lot of people are saying they're gonna use the Interventions building. To me, that's not big enough. But I love what David was saying on Fresh Baked that it'd be awesome to have it going over Tomorrowland, because he had a point. Tomorrowland is supposed to be about travel, the futuristic travel, well that's supposed to be Tron. So to look up and see all this stuff going on above you would be awesome. To me it doesn't fit the whole Disneyland, because Disneyland isn't like over the top with rides, it's more about the individual theming. But I just wanna know your guys' opinion. There's my opinion, I think it'd be tough, one, two, if it didn't go over the whole land, if it just like a section, I think that'd be pretty cool. Especially at night. I think at night is where you would blow away everybody with the Tron ride going over the top of Tomorrowland. So I just wanna know your opinion guys. If you think Tron, a Tron roller coaster at Tomorrowland and what they're saying is the intervention building. I just wanna know your opinion. If you think it would work, if you think it would be awesome, if you would hate it, if you think it would be cool but put it in a different part of Tomorrowland, Get rid of Autopia. What is your guys' opinion on that? 
So that about wraps it up, guys. I said I want to try to keep it short. I still ran about 10 minutes here. So yeah, that's about it. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want me to add, switch, twist, mess with, leave a comment down below. And if you like my videos, give me a big thumbs up. I did two thumbs up last week. I can't do three. Oh, I can't do three. Th I'll just do one big one. Give me a big thumbs up, guys. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys all on Sunday. Sunday is going to be a little different. It's not going to be a park resort video. It's going to be the Pirates Collector's Pin Set that I talked about in one of my, la one of my other park resort, one of my resort videos. I talked about the pin set. I'm going to be showing you guys that on Sunday. So make sure if you guys want to see that, check back in here. Again, click the subscribe button, hit the little reminder bell, and you guys won't be missing out on the pin collection video that I'm super stoked for. So yeah, you guys, if you're at the park, tell me guys say hi. And then that's about it. I will see you all a little later.